the oh the handsome factor kicks in. There he is. I look at the big screen in our room. I can see it's Reno Collier. Where are you, Reno? Good morning, my friends. I'm at my stepdaughter's house down in Florida. Oh, Ooh, very nice. Well, making was, videos. I was going to say there's a <laughs> couple. Is that Dolly Parton behind you? No, it is yeah. Dolly Parton. That She's is young, yeah. but she has good taste. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Oh, okay. Looks like Farrah yeah. Fawcett. Uh, young yeah. Dolly. Okay, okay. Oh, now, yeah. Um, <laughs> or, or, or Reno. Um, Hello, Dolly. Uh, <laughs> you and I were talking yesterday, and uh, uh, Toby Keith, uh, very sad news, Toby Keith died a few days ago, and uh, Toby was in here and did, did some of his bus songs. The, the, they were songs he kind of <laughs> just did with the fellas on board the bus for fun, and he did a couple of them here. Ended up having to do them in concert because people liked him so much. But, uh, Star kiss and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. But, and yeah. You, you knew Toby? I not. We weren't like best friends or anything. But I was lucky enough to uh, do a Comedy Central roast with him, and he was good friends with cable guys. So he'd come out to our shows, and then in Nashville, we'd go out drinking and running around sometimes. And just a killer guy, man. And I just, I was, I was thinking of all the funny stories um, about him and Toby as everybody knows, was a huge uh, supporter of the troops. I mean, right. that was his kind of go-to thing. So whenever I'd go to Iraq and stuff to do shows, everyone's like, oh, Toby Keith, Toby Keith, Toby Keith. So I come back from one of them, and we're all sitting around talking, and, and I had this story about uh, we were in Blackhawks flying over uh, Baghdad, and you could see at night the green tracer shooting at, the, at our helicopters. And we landed... And my buddy PJ was uh, like, man, did you see him shooting at us? I was like, yeah. And those were our troops that had to sit through your show. You know, like, I, <laughs> I, I, thought, I, thought, I, I thought I had these great stories, right? So as any consummate storyteller will do, as I'm sitting here babbling about grenade launchers and stuff, after me just rambling, Toby goes, well, I don't want to be uh, an uh, outdoer, but I've got one. And I'm like, all right, what you got? And he's like, okay. So it was about two weeks before Toby was supposed to go to Iraq and his opening act fell out. And he's like, he's telling me, like, he's like, I don't, I don't have anyone to go with me. And he's like, I'm last minute thinking. And he goes, who would go on this? And he goes, Nugent. I'll call Nugent. So he calls Ted Nugent. He's like, Nugent, you want to go to Iraq? And he's like, yeah, yeah, let's go. When are we going? Today? We're going to, and he's like, no, we're, we're going in like two weeks, right? So for the big stars, they fly private over there. So Toby gets Ted Nugent. They get on the plane. They fly to Italy to go through customs. They get them off the plane. And when they're on the plane, uh, Nugent's pacing back and forth on the tarmac. And he looks like he's freaking out And while they're searching the plane. And Toby, he's, Toby said he's thinking, he's like, you know, he doesn't do drugs. He doesn't really drink. And he's like, Nugent, he goes, what is, what is wrong with you? And he goes, well, look. I took my pistol apart. It's hidden in the airplane, but I've got a hundred rounds of ammunition wrapped around my stomach. <laughs> and Toby's like, what? He goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, I got 99 for the Iraqis and one for Uncle Ted. And Toby's like, dude, what the hell is wrong with you? He's like, we're going to play the guitar. We're not going to war. He's like, well, you know, we just, we got to be prepared. You never know what's going to happen. And Toby's like, you got to be kidding me, man. So they don't find the gun. They get back on the plane. They fly over to Iraq. They're bouncing around doing shows at all the different places and everything and going into, you know, whatever. So they'd always let us shoot really cool stuff. So on the last day of the tour, all the troops are lined on the sides of this firing range. There's people sitting up on the tankers and they're firing this 50 cal just, you know, and Toby comes down and the, the troops are like, Toby, Toby. And he's waving and they're going crazy. And you're out in the middle of the desert and he's just like, gah, 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 gah. and he starts unloading these things and he's blowing the stuff up and everybody's cheering. And then they're like, Nugent comes over and they're like, all right, Ted, you're up. Nugent gets down there and he's like, Go, 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 go. They start firing. He starts firing. He runs out of ammo. And Toby said, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Nugent does some crazy police roll, pops up in some police stance, pulls the pistol out that he brought, 
and started unloading clips on the dummy on the ground, like, bow, 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 And the troops are like, you got to be kidding me. This guy has his own gun. And they're like, Nugent, Nugent. And Toby's like, I'm standing there going, wait a minute. I'm the USO guy. I didn't bring a gun. How come everybody's cheering for Nugent? And he's like, pow, 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 pow. The whole place goes absolutely berserk. So Toby's walking over and he's sitting there and, and, you know, he's like, he's like, I'm sitting there going, you got to be kidding me. What the hell is this guy doing? So he goes over, tells the head of the USO, he goes, look, me and Nugent want to come back in like six weeks because Toby was over there all the time. And the lady goes, "Uh, Toby, you are always welcome here. And he's like, what about Nugent? She goes, no, no. Ted should be in prison. <laughs> when, when he, he broke more international laws wandering around. So Toby said the whole flight black, Nugent's crying, and Toby's like, dude, you brought a gun to a foreign country and went and ate with the troops, and they never, they banned Nugent. But he, <coughs> he t- the way he could tell a story was, as a comedian, you know, we think we can tell stories, but those songwriters... I didn't even do that justice the way he told it, but he was such a consummate writer, you know, even the silly stuff and the fun stuff and everything. But I just feel like that era of country music and men, you know, a man's man and all that stuff is, it's just slowly fading away. And, you know, Toby and I weren't best friends. I, I put something on social media and people were like, you know, I'm praying for you. I'm, it, this isn't about me. I just was lucky enough to go out and get drunk with a dude a bunch of times and hang out and hear fun stories. But but in talking to him, I would think, man, that he would be most want to be remembered for the stuff he did for the troops. And I know how much the troops love that dude. So no, I just no, wanted to share a well, little. Well, thanks. Uh, thanks. Yeah. Uh, no, once again, we're, we're speaking with Reno Collier. I assume when you were over there, they asked you not to get near the weapons. Dude, they. Uh, <laughs> I got to fire this fifty cal one time out of the top of this Humvee, <laughs> and uh, I got so excited because they let us shoot everything out there. You're out in the middle of nowhere, you know. Like when you're in Africa, there's nothing out there. So I'm shooting it. And the, we're too close to the berm. They told us not to put it on automatic. And I had some poor kid who was a private who had gotten in trouble for something. So they stuck him with me. And he's like, do whatever you want. And I'm like, yeah. Gah, 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 gah. Well, the, the bullets were going into this berm and they were hitting other stuff and shooting back and flipping over the top of us and catching stuff on fire behind us. <laughs> nice. and and, yeah, and I'm just like, gah, gah, gah. it was like in taps when he's like, it's beautiful, man. <laughs> and I can't see what's going on. And all of a sudden, this sergeant comes over, jerks this guy out of my Humvee, and he's like, sir, sir, take it off automatic. I turn around. There's people laying on the ground and I look behind me and there's these little patches of fire and I'm like, what the hell is that? And they're like, that's you, you redneck. They're like, you can't keep fighting. <laughs> Those things are so much fun to go on, man. Wow. Well, uh, 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 Reno, thank you very much. Uh, we'll look forward to talking to you again soon. Are you uh, are you uh, working down in Florida? I was. I'm. Uh, my next shows. I'm going. I'm back on the road with uh, Larry the Cable Guy. We're going to be in Mesa, Arizona, and Reno, Nevada, and then I'm going to be in Abbeville, South Carolina, St. Louis, and then Nashville, Indiana, and uh, and then Cincinnati. I'll be at the Brown County Playoffs. I got a bunch of stuff okay, coming good. up. The play's over, baby. Fatty's coming home. All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Reno. We'll talk to you again in a couple days. Love you guys. Bye, Great story. Thank you.